Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to talk about uh, barcodes. So um, here is what uh, I refer to when I talk about barcodes. Uh, why is it useful? Well, basically when uh, you are a company and you are selling products, you would like to, uh, let's say, define kind of a standard for all the different uh, organizations, mainly, uh, let's say, uh, supermarkets, point of sale, to have uh, one given reference of your products in order for them uh, to be able to uh, call this reference and know what this product is about. Um, so in fact, uh, how it works, um, you as an organization, you go to companies such as this one, and uh, you ask uh, to create um, so uh, what we call EAN, so it's a specific number in order to identify specifically your product. And after that, of course, uh, you can um, you can use you can use uh, those different identifying number. Uh, so it's a label that you uh, stick on uh, your product, and like this, all the different uh, let's say. Uh, merchants uh, with which uh, you're going to work will be able to identify what this uh, product is about. So of course um, you are giving those uh, references to them and they are uh, putting them uh, within their database or either uh, calling um, database such as the one that I'm currently uh, showing you. Um, by the way, it seems like there's no, um, there's no open source uh, database. There used to be this project, the product open data but uh, it seems that actually it's not uh, maintained that much. You can look on GitHub, it has been more than four years uh, that it has not been, uh, let's say, uploaded for the core uh, file and for the last update, it was in 2018. So, um, so, so to say you get uh, those uh, different uh, number and thanks to those number, you can call the database and you know what this uh, product is about. So. In order to illustrate a little bit more uh, EAN and how it works with a barcode reader, what I did is I created an app on uh, App Inventor 2 uh, showing you easily how you can read a barcode. So here's a simple app. Uh, this app, when I click on this given button, it's gonna fire a barcode scanner component uh, that I just picked up uh, over, uh, over here. And uh, regarding the code that I define, I define it like this. If someone's click on the given uh, button that I showed before, this one, then it's gonna call the barcode uh, reader. And once the barcode has been read, it's gonna look uh, through the identifier number. And uh, so in my case, I know, for example, that the identifier number is this one. And then it's gonna tell me uh, what the product is about. If I, of course, I have the information within the database, if not, it's not gonna uh, tell it to me. Uh, by the way, I should as well. Um, I should have as well uh, show you the the number uh, displayed, but I I didn't. Um, but I previously typed it in in this database, and it show out in fact this uh, given uh, this given number. So uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you my. Um, my app. So uh, here is, for example, the barcode that I'm gonna uh, scan. So if it doesn't matter if you have the number of not. In fact, it's it's the following thing that uh, the barcode reader is is reading. That's really the uh, sequence of uh, of bar. And uh, I'm gonna show you the app uh, that I created. So I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna load it. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going through the security measure of Android and now I get my app, uh, which is installed. So here is my uh, here is my app. So I'm just opening it up um, here. Uh, that's what you just saw on the screen some minutes ago. So I'm going to go like this. So I push the given button. And as you can see, I get my camera working. So if my camera can find out the barcode is going to uh, analyze the, the data. So that's what I'm doing right now, trying to analyze the data. So it find out the uh, information and then displaying me uh, what this given product is about because I inserted within uh, the database uh, the, the reference of the product. So this is how it works. In fact, it's just a question of uh, a technology, which is the barcode. Uh, reader, which is reading in fact those sequence of bar, if it find out the given reference that you have in your database is giving you out 
the result of the database. And that's all that you need to know about EIM. Thanks for watching.